What's up everybody, it's Steve the Hurricane and on today's episode of A Drink with the Hurricane, we are gonna talk about accountability measures for your office staff. So raise your glass and let's toast to your success. Cheers. A Drink with the Hurricane, the home care sales and marketing talk show that discusses all things growing your home care business. So this is something that I get asked all the time. I need better accountability measures. I need better reporting and tracking in my organization of KPIs and all the other good stuff so I can have a successful organization. How do I hold my team accountable? And something that I'm gonna share with you right now, this is actually straight out of my Fast Start program that people invest in. This is, the Fast Start is one of the four semesters of my Hurricane University program that people invest in. And this is where I talk about having a weekly staff meeting, all right? So by having a weekly staff meeting, this allows every single person in your organization to be able to present their KPIs that they are responsible for to the rest of the team. Now, first off, why is it important for every single part of your organization to be on the same page? Well, let's, let's see, who's in our organization? We got a recruiter. We got a scheduler, we have some kind of office manager or an executive director, you have yourself, and possibly, if you're large enough, a marketing representative, right? So that's four or five people in your organization. Every single one of you is responsible for different responsibilities in the organization that when all of you are working well together and you're communicating well together, your business will run almost through osmosis. It'll just seem like everything is going well. This is why a weekly office meeting is so important. On top of it, I'm gonna give you some examples. As people are presenting what they've done, what they've accomplished, what they're gonna do for this week for their department, you can then see how other departments are influenced or rely on other departments, and then they can get some cross-conversation going to help make the business more efficient. I'll give you an example. So you see the director of the organization. Let's say that this is uh, not an executive director, but let's say that this is a scheduler. The scheduler is gonna talk about the cases that are not staffed yet and what she needs to staff somebody. As she's talking about these cases that are not staffed, the recruiter may remember somebody that they just hired last week or a couple of weeks ago who had a certain skill set that you should reach out to to try and staff said case. Here's another example. Recruiter is bringing people in. Well, as the marketing director, marketing representative, I may see that my business has a different quadrant. The northwestern quadrant is where the scheduler is taught, or the recruiter rather, is talking about where she has people coming in for interviews, and we have new caregivers here. Well, as a marketing person, if I realize that I have caregivers available for work in this quadrant of where my business is, then I'm gonna go marketing there to try and get work for those caregivers right away so that we don't lose them. On the flip side, marketing representative comes in and is gonna talk about where their referral sources are full, where you think you're gonna get business from to let the scheduler and the recruiter know, hey, we have a couple of referral sources in this quadrant that are full right now. This means that this week or next week, there's a high likelihood we're gonna get some referrals from here. Make sure we have available caregivers that can service this area. That's gonna make the recruiter recruit there, that's gonna make the scheduler find caregivers available there, and you can actually meet the demand for your business before you actually get the referral. How beautiful is that? On the flip side, you could have a marketing rep, same thing, talk about an account in this area. All right, well, we don't have any caregivers over here in this quadrant. I have some really good referral sources. They're not full, but I got some lunch and learn scheduled for the next month. I have some meetings scheduled. I got some things planned, some co-marketing and some activities that we're doing in this area over here. Start recruiting now. 
for this. Start finding availability now for this because eventually we are going to have some people there. That is how every part of it works together. Now in addition to this, you see how every meeting should begin with stand up followed by reports from each members of the team, right? Stand up. All stand up is, is you the business owner, the executive director, come in with a motivational quote or even better, Share your company's mission statement. I can tell you right now, I know my mission statement off the top of my head. You know why? Because I say it every single time I come into my office. Here at Hurricane Marketing Enterprises, we exist to help service providers find those in need of care. Our ultimate goal is to help these service providers increase their census, revenue, and profits. If you haven't memorized your mission statement, what are you doing? This is your business. I start off every weekly meeting in my organization by reciting our mission statement and then I choose one of my company's 10 core values. I'll pick one of them, read the core value, and then give an example of either how over the last seven days I saw us executing that core value or over the next seven days, I'd like to see us put an emphasis on this core value. For example, less is more is our number four core value. Sometimes we overthink things, we do too much. In a week where I know we got a boot camp coming up, we got a lot of things going up, I usually pick less is more. Don't worry about what you gotta do six weeks from now or this project you're working on, whatever. Just get done what we need for next week's live in-person gathering so that we can get it done and get it off our plate and move forward. Less is more. Even so where I would say, don't even worry about making sales as much this week. Focus on getting this event done because we're gonna make a ton of sales at the boot camp next week. Does that make sense? So again, this is how you run an organizational weekly meeting which will give the accountability measures because every person has to bring their report and report on what they've done all at a team collective environment which is going to improve your communication which will ultimately improve your operation and your customer service satisfaction. Now if you need help with this, if you need help scaling and growing your business, I've been doing it for 10 years almost, pick up the phone, give us a call, and let us help you blow away the competition.